this here is the all new Volvo S60 luxury sedan. And over here is the Volvo V60 wagon. Now you might love wagons and I sort of get who you are if you do love wagons. You can read the review and you can click the link up here to find the V60 review because today we're going to be focusing on this. It's the S60, the sedan. And geez, doesn't it look beautiful? I'm going to tell you all about this car and we're going to get into a lot of detail. But before we do, make sure you hit subscribe on our YouTube channel. Also hit like, share it with your friends and comment if you've got something to say about this video. And if you want to know more, you can always read the full review at the Cars Guide site. Svelte it may be, but this is also one sexy looking sedan. That's partly because this one is the R design, which gets a muscly body kit and big 19 inch alloy wheels. As standard, it gets LED lighting across the range and the Thor's Hammer theme Volvo has been sticking with over the past few years works an absolute treat here too. At the back, there's a very tidy rear end with a look that you could confuse for the bigger S90 sedan, apart from the badge, of course. It's one of the best looking cars in the segment and that largely comes down to the fact that it appears more resolved and luxurious than its competitors. Disagree with me? Tell me in the comments section below. Now, if you're watching this video, you clearly have a thing for sedans. I'm not going to hold that against you, but if you want the more practical option, then you should definitely look at the V60 wagon because it has a bigger boot. But it's still got a practical boot space as well. There's 442 litres of cargo capacity in here and you can fold the rear seats forward if you need even more. Now, let me show you what that looks like when we put in the Cars Guide pram and luggage. The back seat in the Volvo S60 is a comfortable place to be. This seat is set in my position. I'm six foot tall. That's 182 centimeters for anyone out there who doesn't know what feet are. And I can sit behind my own driving position really comfortably. I've got heaps of knee room, good toe room, and even good headroom. Even because this car doesn't come with the big panoramic roof that you get in the wagon version, the roof cuts off there. So it doesn't impact the headroom in the back. And some other cars in this segment can have really raked roof lines at the back, which can limit your headroom as well. Not the Volvo though, it's pretty comfortable back here. And there are some nice elements like storage options, including these cool pop-out cup holders and a nice armrest that also hides a little storage caddy in here. And ventilation is taken care of for people in the back as well. There are vents down here and vents in the pillars too, which is really nice. There's also in this spec, a little power point down here, but no USB points in the back. I guess you just have to use a plug. All of the 60 series models get beautiful interior design as standard. Now that might sound a bit weird, but it's the truth. This is a really pleasant and premium feeling interior. And you get things like a beautiful leather steering wheel. This particular model gets the sportier R design seats with leather, and it all looks and feels beautiful in here. Plus you get a nine inch portrait style tablet display screen up here, which has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, sat nav, all the things you'd expect of a premium car. As for the other materials in the cabin, there's this beautiful cover for the cup holders, which is lovely. And yes, there are cup holders. There's bottle holders in the doors. There's a little center console bin here, and it's a really well presented and well thought out space. Now the screen itself can be a little bit confusing if you're not used to it. There are menus upon menus that you need to tab through like a regular tablet, although it does take a little bit of learning if you're not used to it. Some people don't like it. I actually find elements of it to be quite annoying, like the air conditioning controls, which have to be done through the screen. There's no knobs or dials for that. And that can be frustrating on a really hot day if you just want to cool the car down quickly and you've got to tap, 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 tap. Or just gets a little annoying. It's not a game breaker. Like don't, don't think that it's a deal breaker by that standard, but you might just need to consider that. Now we're driving the T5 R design model. And in Australia, that means you get the engineered by Polestar treatment. What that means is that over other models lower in the range, which are also badged as T5, you get extra power and torque. 
It still has a four cylinder engine with turbocharging. It's still got an eight speed automatic transmission and it's still all wheel drive, just like a Subaru Liberty sedan. And every S60 and V60 is all wheel drive in Australia. But because this is the T5R design, you get extra grunt, five kilowatts and 50 newton meters more than the other models in the T5 range. Now that means you've got 192 kilowatts and 400 newton meters of torque, which is heaps. And it makes this car quick enough to sprint from 0 to 100 in about 6.3 seconds, which is fast. And being the Polestar spec version, it's got big 19 inch alloy wheels with aggressive tires. It looks great and it drives really well too. Now, the things I really like about this particular version of the S60 is that it's got so much grunt. You put your foot down and it pushes you back in your seat because it's got such good torque to help you accelerate. The transmission's really smart as well. It doesn't muck around with trying to change gears too often or anything, which is really good. But is it a real sporting sedan? Well, not quite. I mean, the all wheel drive system is amazing and it helps you grip through corners really, really well. Although the steering isn't as involving as some of the other luxury sedans out there. Now that might matter to you or it might not. The thing that matters to me is that it gets along really quickly and it's not offensive in any way. The ride's quite comfortable and the steering is predictable and light, although maybe not offering the most feel. But I like to think of this version of the S60, rather than being a sports sedan, it's more a sporty sedan. It's quick and nimble enough, agile enough, and it definitely offers enough involvement for the driver to get their kicks on a twisty road. In the urban environment, it is pretty well sorted as well. The ride comfort is mostly very good, although it can jar into sharp edges at lower speeds. And the steering is exactly what you'd expect. It's light and accurate. It's perfectly suited for this sort of driving. All in all, the S60 is a very impressive luxury sedan. It's pretty good to drive, maybe not the best in the class, but it is very luxurious and you feel like you're driving a really nice luxury car when you're in the driver's seat of this car. And I guess that's exactly all it needs to be because it is a luxury sedan. You might be wondering how much the Volvo S60 costs. Well, here's a rundown of the range. The entry level car is the T5 Momentum at just under 55 grand. Next up is the T5 Inscription, which gets a few more luxury items and lists at just under 61 grand. Then there's the T5R design, which is the one we're in. It gets more boost, sportier styling and a slightly higher price. And at the top is the T8R Design flagship model, which is a plug-in hybrid that's low on fuel use, but big on performance and on price. Read the review for more on that, plus the information you need to know about ownership and safety gear. But it's a Volvo after all, so you know the safety standards are amazing. Well, Volvo is well and truly on a roll. The new S60 is such a convincing luxury sedan that it might well put some of the other sedans in the segment to shame. I think it's one of the most beautiful cars on the market as well. Now you can tell me what you think in the comments section below. And also don't forget, if you're watching on YouTube, hit subscribe and also hit that like button and share it with your friends. We'd like that. <laughs>